See, I'm not entirely certain that this whole humanity experiment was ever actually supposed to work. Sure, we managed to develop opposable thumbs, generate cognitive thought, create the wheel and tools and the internet and Shakespeare. Not in that exact order. You know how a, a baby is like universally loved? Even the really ugly ones. There's something about them that sets off a nurturing genetic response, turns us all into puddles of smiling and cooing and gibberish, which is great. And at the other end of that, those babies are getting hugged and cuddled and fed and changed, and that's great too. So that baby assumes that that phase is going to last, because the baby assumes all that love and cuddling and food is probably something that they deserve. Meanwhile, we all managed to outsmart the animals that wanted to kill us, to bend the land and the elements, to do our work for us, to feed us, to light and heat our homes, to cool our cars, to protect us from intruders. We were smart, we kept ourselves safe. But for those of us who stayed safe over time, we mostly assumed that was something that we deserved. The world was cuddling and cooing and feeding us, sometimes providing us with more intimate pleasures. And we were good with that. How great that we deserved all that. We must have done something really special to be so really loved. God must really love us to give us all that. Huh. You know, I hope there's a God. That would be nice. Maybe I'm the last one to go, and they're all calling out to me. Come join us. Come join us. I'm hearing that right now. But the human impulse is like that baby impulse. Before long, you're walking and talking, and they stop loving you for who you are, but for what you can do. And that's kind of a shock when you realize that you're the one who's ultimately responsible for your own shit. And as a baby, you're in for some down days, some down years, well into adolescence, before you finally get the concept of your own shit, and you learn not to lie in it, but to clean it up. That's um, both literal and psychological shit. <laughs> but the evolving species, despite what we've learned from math and science, we're still looking for that parent figure, that god, if you will, to clean it all up. And since we hate the notion of cleaning it all up, we project words into God's mouth. God says, How arrogant of you, you puny human, to think you can possibly damage this beautiful planet that I gave you with your pitiful technology. I gave you food, water, sky, coal, gas, oil, fusion, fission, to have dominion over, to use, and to enjoy, you ungrateful bastard, driving a 